Hello everyone and thanks for watching Edupedia World videos. This is Abhyuddhi Rama Siddhyakai and now we are continuing with the video 25th where we will be learning about exception handling with the code. So if the exceptions are put so there is no error messages and the program can be handled easily. For example if we run the program you can see the earlier we have just worked on if condition now you can see that if I do not put anything I just click on this cross or cancel you will see the error here which I just highlighted before so now we have to fix this if you want to come again and again and want to use this program again and again so you have the control so that you control and the program should not go in vain so now keep watching I am going to add the exceptions over here first of all what is exception now exceptions basically which handles the abnormality of the program when it goes for termination it handles the terminated state to the control and brings up the window or some controls to take further decisions let's suppose if you want to exit or no if you want to just fix a number that only if you press 1 or exit E or X or let's suppose minus 1 then it will exit otherwise if you try from any of the input or from the any of the options it won't exit so you have fixed the condition now exceptions help ensure the program more robust and more controlled so see that how to implement the exception the block which will include here I'm just going to write it now for you keep watching now here I'm just including the just I'm showing you the structure that what to write as an exception now here exception handling right now what is the structure try catch this is the structure of exception handling now what we do that and what I ever recommend my students to just what to do right from the beginning just put this structure first and then everything should put in into it first you have to open this and then let's suppose I'm just cutting and pasting this code just copy this code up till here no class bracket nothing else cut and then paste here now it is another cut now you can see the catch is empty without exception here you can see that the error goes off exception ex now here G option pane G option pane dot show message now exception raised or you can put the message invalid option invalid choice invalid option or choice exception plus exception you will see now run the code again and you will see that what will change invalid option or choice java language number format exception null that means unhandled exception has been generated and the program is telling you about its invalid function now if you want to redirect the user so you can just call the main function or method again and again so I'm just clicking on ok now the program terminates now if you want to be in the program and to continue with the program so what we have to do now here I'm going to add a method now I'm copying this all from here right cut and this is the class variable sorry this is the main class bracket and here you have to add a message you have to create a message now I'm creating a static method public void calc that's it and this is the bracket now why I have kept it static because I want to repeat it again and again that is why if the method is repeated again and again you have to make it static now calc I am just calling there here call the method here calc that's it 
and when the program will run you will see the program is calling this and let's suppose if this is an option choice now the calculator will come up with this now you can call calc over here and that's it okay this will re-input the value or let's suppose positive integer negative integer here you can call it you can call it here calc calculator and then again here you can call it here calc that's it now format this right click here and then format now all is formatted and you can see the option and when I run this you will see that everything will go fine see now I'm running this okay or if you want to make some error let's suppose if you want to keep it so this won't come out now let's suppose 577 okay then it will terminate otherwise let's suppose I'm again running this you can see that if I just put some wrong value that is minus 45 and mm, 210 then you can see error message but this will again call the function enter value of a so this will keep on continuing until the correct value is received and if some value goes wrong so you will see that the exception will handle the error now here I'm going to change the color so I can see now why this is changing the for which particular value we are giving this to change the color accordingly now okay uh, let's suppose 5 9 okay that's it now again I'm going to just show you exception because this is blue because I have not put any error or any type of G option pane comma error error and then here option pane dot error so now this is error now you will see the window will come up in red color now you can see the whole code here the same code is there but I have done something different which you have to follow clearly now you can see this is the program which you can see which you can run easily you already know this now running the program this is let's suppose 1 or let's suppose first I am cancelling this you can see the change of color okay again it has come up with the addition positive window now 3 and then 34 33 36 okay now here it is terminating now there is no use of other thing you can see the code easily you can implement this and you can enjoy the code now here the total you have learned today the method creation creating static method you have seen that creating static method public static void the modifier becomes public then type static that means it has to repeat or it has to use repeatedly in the same program that is why it kept static and you can see that the void type and the calculator is here and you can see the creating static method and then exception starts here then you have the code you have learned before and then uh, one more thing which I can clear make you clear a equals to integer now if you want to use double or float or a string so you will change this parse integer parse double parse float parse text or something like that or next integer or next line something like that so you have to change the methods accordingly so now this is your program you can see this is the try block try catch block try ends up here you can see this is the catch block this is the try or you can just put mark over here try ends here try block try block ends up here so that you can remember catch starts and this is here the last thing and this is the method variable this is the method boundary boundary this is the main boundary oh sorry method boundary sorry this is by mistake this is the catch boundary catch ends here this is the 
method boundary and this is the main class this is the this is g option pane input f this is the master class master class ends here now i put some comments i hope that you will like this or you will learn this so this is basically you can see that how you have done this thing everything is clear and i hope you will learn this and you will be able to implement easily so now this is the exception handling with the if conditions so you can see you have learned two things and one method as well three things in one program and we will be focusing on methods again so that you can develop your concepts so i hope you will like this thanks for watching